Okay, and that is my... There we go. There we go! For a second, it was just my coffee pot that was live. Hey! Hey, hey! So, it's me, Jess. Um, so I'm gonna start off Jessica Harvey. So I've started a new journey with Pampered Chef. So I'm doing this whole thing. I started a blog. I'm calling myself the Foodie Fairy. I really like it. So look what I got today. Look at all that. Three huge friggin' boxes. And that is my consultant kit. So I joined Pampered Chef like a week and a half ago or something. These have actually been sitting up here later since Friday, but it was a long weekend and whatnot, so I just picked them up today. I meant to be on here earlier, but I also picked up um, chicken, so I had dinner first because it was warm. So bear with me for a few minutes because I've got like four parties going on right now, so I'm just going to share this live to those so that I can kind of cover all my bases and stuff and yeah so yeah it's been a long time since I've been live kind of doing my own thing I really want to start doing some jewelry live like some live videos of my jewelry but it's really hard to do because I haven't figured out how to like be live and be able to like see people's comments as whereas like like because when I'm doing the jewelry I have to like tilt the camera down so it's so you can see my hands and then I can't see what people are saying so anyways yeah so lots of things anyways sharing give me like two seconds it's Tuesday I was super I was super tired today because today is technically my Monday because I had the long weekend off and I started at 8 today and when you take the bus that means you have to get up at like 6 so that wasn't as fun but uh, yeah it was good actually I quite like this job it's pretty easy it's gonna be kind of my part-time job because I'm also starting a new full-time job um, next Tuesday so I'm gonna be busy super busy <laughs> Okay, sharing, sharing, sharing. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so it's Tuesday evening. I was going to hold off to doing this until tomorrow, but I can't. These boxes have been sitting in my kitchen for like a whole, like, what time is it? A whole, like, hour and a half. Long enough for me to like eat and watch an episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine because I'm totally addicted to it. I've watched like almost the entire series that's on Netflix <laughs> in like the last couple days. <laughs> and yeah, it was weird because I watched like the first episode like when it first came on Netflix um, forever ago. And uh, sure... And I was super not into it, and I thought it looked really dumb, but then I kind of tried it again and really got into it, so whatever. So my laptop's being really slow. I don't know how to share my live videos from my phone, so I've got like my phone being live and... Um, and then I have to share it, like, on my laptop, but, yeah. Oh, well. I wish I could, like, cross-share it, but whatever. 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 It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Um, share. Share, share. It's funny, every time I share this, the, like, the thumbnail of my face keeps changing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's what I look like. Okay. 
Melanie, Melanie, Melanie. So, who's here? Nobody's here. You know, it doesn't even matter that I'm rambling. So, if you guys pop in, if you're here and the, 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 the little live red thing is at the top, that means you're live and you can like talk to me and stuff. If it's not there, just say hi anyways and that way I knew you were here and then I'll be all happy and stuff. So yeah, just say hi. Because I like to know that people actually pop in and... Okay, one more. One more, I swear. Katie. Katie, Katie. There she is. Okay. Alright, so, like I said, joined Pampered Chef like a week and a half ago. So this is my presenter's kit. So... Pepper Chef is cool. You can pick like they have three different kits, and uh, and the cool thing is the one I went with was the biggest one, and it was kind of the best deal, also. So I was like, we'll just do that, you know. And I kind of had the money, so. Um. Anyways, uh, what was I gonna say? Um. Yeah. So it comes with like. Um, like $1,400 worth of product and a bunch of the stuff that was in the kit were things that were kind of on my Pampered Chef list anyways. So, yeah. Okay. Now this middle one ooh, says open this box first. So that's what I'm going to do. I haven't even opened it. Didn't even break the seal or nothing. Cause, also because I was hungry. So I came home and I like left them on the kitchen floor and then went and ate chicken. <laughs> oh, I still need my... Still need my knife. Okay, let's solve this. Hmm. Shit's heavy. Oh. Life takes great. Okay, I think this is like... That's all like my presenter papers and catalogs and shit. So, um, like most of you know, I live in Calgary now. So, if you're in the Calgary area... Um, I could totally give you, like, a paper catalog. Um, but if you're not, I, uh, my catalog's totally online, and then you can check out my website also. And I will put that in the comments later on. Oh, what's this? Classic Matter Bowl. Looks like a bowl. Well, this looks like a box, but it says it's a bowl. Bowl. There we go. There we go. There. I have a knife. I just, I do the slit and then I just want to move on. <laughs> Ooh, it's like a major, massive measuring cup. It's got like numbers and stuff. And a lid. I'll put that inside. That's cool. Oh, and it like, it clips like right on. So you could like make your batter like the night before or something. And then like put the lid on and like, Put in the fridge or something. I don't know. I don't bake very often. I might have to start though. Yeah. I'm more of a cook than I am a baker. Just because I find baking is like way too exact. And like when I cook, like most of the time I don't even have recipes because I just like throw shit in and like 
Or even even if I follow a recipe, I'll like I'll kind of follow it, but then I like won't have like one or two things, and so I just like wing it. So yeah, even when I follow a recipe, it ends up like a little different. Or like every time I make chili, it's different every time, and that's just how I cook. But that approach doesn't really work with baking, cause like if you're off by like the littlest bit, it like you can like you change one thing and your cookies are now scones or crackers or something not sweet <laughs> uh. oh. okay, these look like catalogs look at those later big bubbles Ugh. Okay, what's this? Quick stir pitcher. Okay. Okay. Quick stir pitcher. this way in the beginning so you know what I'm not even gonna bother never mind now just boxes of shit so this is looks like kind of a juice pitcher of sorts or something whoa what's this okay oh well, that's cool oh neat so look so, clear juice pitcher, but it's got this thing that's attached to the lid. So, you put in your juice, and then you just, and it like, it just stirs it. It's like the built-in wooden spoon, except it's not wooden. <laughs> Go for the downer. Okay, so this is going to be a really long video. Hi, Terry! Bowls! Bowls! There's bowls! Well, let's try and not stab myself in the heart. I want to... Awesome! Yes! And when I need makeup, I'm definitely ordering from you. <laughs> Since I'm not active anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. ooh, these are like nice glass mixing bowls. So there's, that's the smallest size. Whoa. There's three of them. I've never had a set of mixing bowls. I let me have a knife because I live alone and there's no one to tell me what to do. And I don't listen to the Wink. <laughs> so this is the biggest one. And then the medium one. And then the little one. Yeah. I'm running out of counter space. I don't want to break anything. Okay, you can sit there. <laughs> Melanie, you shush. You're not here to supervise me, so you're not allowed to have an opinion. Okay, box one is done. Ugh. Here we go. I'm going to have a kitchen full of cardboard when I'm done here. Okay, this one is little and... Not as heavy. <laughs> okay. So, little box. This was not as hard to open. Ugh. Hello, Charlie. And what's with the angry faces? Melanie. That's rude. 
Hi, TL. TL is my new upline. She's awesome. Things, a list of words that I'm not going to read right now. You know, and on the other side of my sink that you can't see, there's another empty bottle of wine also. But, you know, it's like you guys don't know me at all. Like, the deuce. Ugh. Ooh, I know what this is. So this is, what's it called? Before I go ripping into it. Um... It's a grill press, so I have never succeeded at cooking a good steak, and I'm hoping this will be the answer. So, it also, it comes with, I think, is this it? Small, no, that's not it. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's in there. Oh, fuck, this is heavy. <laughs> Anyways, there's like a, a flat... Bye, Terry. Love you, too. There's like a flat um, pan. And then so I think the way these work is so like and I think the flat bottom pan is um, cast iron also. So you like you put that on your burner, kind of get it hot. And then you put this thing. This is like cast iron, except the handle is probably stainless steel or something. And so you put it on so they're both hot, and then you put your steaks on, and then put this on top of your steaks, so it like sears it from the top and the bottom. Oh my god, it makes the best steaks. So I'm hoping this little contraption will help me cook steaks nice. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. See if we can get just cooking more often. It's not that I, like, I can cook. It's not that I can't. I'm just lazy. <laughs> like, and I live all alone. Like, when I had a roommate, I cooked way more. What did I, I opened something and I didn't tell you what it was. So this is the small rectangular baker. And it's got this little plastic thing. I think it's like a scraper or something because I don't because the outside is like smooth and covered. Hi Katie! But the inside it's like a this is part of I th maybe it's not. I don't know. But um, it's like a ceramic. I'm actually not sure what it's made of so don't quote me. I haven't had a chance to like super look into all the products and stuff like that. Um, I've taken on two new jobs and quit my one job and joined Pepper Chef and have like so much going on in the last week that I'm super, super overwhelmed. So I don't have all the information yet. So if you guys are sending me questions or anything about some of the products, and it might take me a little bit to get back to you. That's why. Also, um, in my new job, um, actually both both of my two new jobs are both call centers. So I can't have my phone at my desk anymore. So also sometimes it takes me longer to get back to people. So this is what... This is the pizza and crust cutter. So what's this? This thing looks scary because it's got a... So it's got like a thing and you, you cut the crust. And then... Ooh, ooh. More knives. More knives. And it's got a plastic thing to keep it. Keep it safe and keep me safe. And put this back. <laughs> also, if you've messaged me or commented on like anything in any of the groups today, 
and I haven't responded, that's why. Because I didn't have my phone all day at work. And then I, um, then I came home and I ate and now I'm live. So, like, I haven't seen any of my notifications or anything. So, don't be mad at me. It's just, it's been one of those days. <laughs> What's this? Uh, Sentoku knife. Okay. If you say so. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I'm gonna open it. Well, ah! losing instructions. What's well, like a little, a little cleaver. And it's like wrapped in plastic too, so. Like super protected. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. So this is apparently a Sentoku knife. It is five inches long. Looks like this. Oh, see, it's it's not super long, but it'd be a good chopping knife. Okay, just safely put away the knife. There we go. What do we got here? More things. This is a measuring spoon set. Hello, Angela. I saw that you sent me a message, but I have not replied because it was like two seconds before I was going live. So I will get back to you shortly. So these are these little spoons. Spoons. That's the big one. That one is, I don't know. I can't read it. Oh, tea tablespoon. Tablespoon is that big? I didn't think a tablespoon was that big. Maybe because they're skinny. See, they're more narrow. Anyways, so table, I mean, measuring spoon sets. And they all like clip together. I don't know how well they'll stay together in my drawer, but optimism. <laughs> What's that? I don't know what it is. Oh, speaking of spatulas, what is not a good idea? Are you talking about knives again? You and Mel and Terry can just The rubber is stuck to the plastic bag. Come out, come out. Ugh. Here we go. It's a, it's a really fresh spatula. Spatula. Do do do. Big long one. That gooder. That's a gooder. The real gooder. This is microplane adjustable coarse grater. You know, this looked bigger in the picture. So, not very big. Oh, yes, this thing. I saw. I thought it was something else. Oh. So, it looks like this, and then. What happened? How does it open? I don't want to break it. Okay, so 
So it's like this, and it's got like a handle. But I, I don't know how to do. It's really stiff. Okay, I'm going to leave it for now and fiddle with it later. Because I don't want to break it. <laughs> you stay there. Ooh, I'm excited to try these. So these are a salad chopper. But you could use them for a lot of things. Sharp objects plus Jessica equals disaster. Shush! <laughs> Speaking of sharp objects, I just unpacked another one. So this is a salad chopper. Um, how does it work? These things are just a, ah, there we go. <laughs> ah, it's got a safety. <laughs> this is probably for a good idea. Anyways, so this is a salad chopper, but you could use it for a lot of things like meat and chopping up vegetables and, well, yeah, salad is vegetables. So it's got this little safety on the end and then... And then so it's it's got these two blades here and then you just it's like shears but for vegetables cool I'm excited to try that especially with stuff like chicken or like bacon or and yeah oh yeah what's this is this the simple slicer more blades, Katie. More blades. Blades, blades, blades. Oh. I now have a hallway full of cardboard. So. So what's this? Steak. Oh, cool. Okay, so it looks like this. This slides along here. See, here's the blade. But so the cool thing is, so this comes off. There we go. And then you got these stabby things. So you like stab your whatever you're slicing. your cheese or whatever and then as it like goes down um yeah so ooh. so the stabby things and then the and then that goes on this thing and then you run along here and then you can, it looks like you can even adjust the blade kind of widths and stuff. Hi, Anne. So yeah, so that's a cool thing. More blades for Jessica to play with. What's this? Oh, I should read it first. Oh, so this is a manual food processor. Open it up. See what we see. I actually don't have a food processor, so this will be cool. So, more blades. We've got our little blade thing. Our thingy. And our other thingy, caution, very sharp blades. Thanks, Edward Chef. See, someone's watching out for me. It's okay. It's okay. Whoa. Okay, so, so we got this. This thing pops up. Normally it's 
locks into place. So, so your thing goes in there and then, oops, that goes there. That goes there. Okay, let's see if I can do this one-handed in the air. There we go. So, and then the blades spin around and, yeah. And then you can just lock that into place so it holds the lid thing down. And, yeah. So that's cool. And another box emptied. Okay, now we got one more box. And it's the biggest one and the heaviest one. Just why it's on the bottom. <laughs> I actually locked out. So my apartment is right behind Walmart. So all, there's always like Walmart carts all over like around the apartment buildings because people like come back from Walmart with their groceries and stuff. I've never done that and I don't usually shop at this one. I don't really like this Walmart um, and I tend to shop at Superstore more often, so which is further away. So I usually take a cab home with my groceries, so I don't do that. But I do use them if they like leave them around because... Like sometimes I my in my blah, my apartment's on the main floor, so like if someone leaves like a cart around, like I'll come home with groceries and then I load it in a cart and then I just walk it to my apartment. Anyway, so I came home, um, and I had to get like a ride from Pure later because I had these three huge boxes and chicken. <laughs> so oh, I was lucky enough that there was a cart like sitting right there at the door. And so I was like, yes, because <laughs> they're heavy. And even like the not heavy one was like really awkward. <laughs> okay. Last box I'm trying to cut open here. There we go. Veggie strip maker. Veggie strip maker. Hang in it. So much Jessica proofing. Like really. I don't understand. How does that work? Betchy strip maker. I don't understand this. It's just like a plastic grater. So it looks like this. And Maybe you just put like your things and then they slice your, your things. I might need to read the instructions on that one. <laughs> yes. Okay. What's this thing? A baker's roller. Yes, Jessica proof. <laughs> Becker's roller. So this is cool. I don't know what this is for. Like I said, I don't do a lot of baking. So what happened? Oh, now I can't put it back. There we 
go. Okay. Anyways, so it looks like this. It has this thing that has these thingies that I, it pops right off. So I don't know what you would use that for. Maybe putting those, those divots on the side of pies. Why you wouldn't just use a fork? I don't know. I love you too, Katie. <laughs> um, anyway, so it's got a small rolly thingy and then a bigger rolly thingy. Yeah, that's going in the dishwasher. <laughs> okay, I think I know what this is. It's a juicer. No, I've never had one of these. I and I love lemon. I love lemon everything. Mm. Lemon, lemon, lemon. And I would love to try and make my own lemonade or my own orange juice. So it's kind of your classic design. Stuff. So yeah, that's that juicer. Okay, I swear we're getting to the end of this, and this video will be over. <laughs> oh, what is this? Um, silicon prep bowl set of three. So this is the smallest one and it goes to one cup and then the medium one is two cups and then the big one is three cups and it also has milliliters on one side and cups on the other side and they each have their own Lids. That doesn't fit that one. <laughs> cool, eh? So you could have like leftover, um, whatever. I don't know. Salsa. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. Um, you know, leftover batter or something, and you could just put that in and. You know, or make, maybe you make icing or something the night before. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really bake. So, whatever. But that seems pretty cool. So, yeah. And they each have their own lids. The inside is sticky. The outside is kind of like a, like a roughed whatever. So, you know what? I have to find places in a gravy. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Good night, Ezra. I love you, Ezra. Okay. Whoa, what is this? Non stick grill pan. Ooh, this is what I was talking about about steaks. I've got like no counter space left in front of me. Okay. It's a handle. What the hell is that for? Oh. So, this is super cool. Okay, so when I was talking about steaks earlier, that grill press, 
So now this is, what's it called? I forget. This is the grill pan. And I'm going to have to look this up because I don't know for sure. Aw, really? <laughs> um, anyways, so I think this is not, I think this is cast iron. I'm not sure. But also, so the, this came separate from the handle. So I want to think. I want to say that that means that you could use this part just in the oven. You know, where like a lot of frying pans you can't, like you can't use on the stovetop and then transfer into the oven, like for broil. And this gray part feels like metal. Like this isn't, this isn't plastic, um, whereas the handle is. So, but I'm going to look into that because if that's the case, that's super awesome. And it's not as shallow as I thought it was, it's, it's a good, probably two inch deep. It probably says on the box. Somewhere, but I'm not going to look that hard. Anyways, so what I was saying about the grill press, <laughs> like they are made for each other. So you would like heat this up on your stove top. And then, um, and then heat the, the press also, like before you put food in it. And then you put in your steaks and then put this on top and it like sears them from both sides. And then you could probably just like put the whole thing in the oven to like cook your steaks the rest of the way or whatnot. I don't know. I'm planning on perfecting my, um, my, I, I, steak uh cooking abilities because every time like i've tried to make steak myself it just it always sucks and i like mine like nice and medium not like nice and kind of rare you know like i don't like it where it's like you cut into it and you have like a whole plate of blood but Pretty much just enough to be cooked, but oh. I'm not sure. I've never had cast iron, so so I don't know. I have to do a bit of product research. Oh. Okay. But See, that was one of the things, which is why I got this kit, actually, that product. It's like, because that grill, the grill press and this grill pan were like, and there's this other pot that I haven't got to that I've been, really been wanting. So, uh, what does that do? So this is some sort of fancy fancy can opener but look there's a button and there's these things and it makes them close but I don't know what you would use that for I don't know anyways that's that <laughs> oh. Oh. and we got Catalogs. I thought I had catalogs already, but more catalogs. Oh. Oh, it's a. It's, it's like a barbecue spreader thingy. You know, you know the thing. The thing. Any of those things. And it's got like a hook. Ooh. 
I've always wanted to try cast iron, but I've just never, I just never have. Okay, so is that, I'm gonna put it in my drawer. Ooh, mats. So, these are large, flexible cutting mats. They're like rubbery, and there's three of them. What do they say? So they're ah, they're all the same size. Oh. Oh, it's like rubbery, so like this rubbery part goes on the counter, so they don't move when, uh, it's not a baster. A baster is when you put the, the liquid inside it and you like baste the turkey. That's like, it's a, like you put barbecue sauce and stuff on things. Shh, you don't know. Anyways, <laughs> so this part's like rubbery and this part's like smooth and so I think you because when I looked at it this way the writing is wrong um anyway so you put it on your counter and then it doesn't it doesn't shift when you're like cutting and it's got like tips on it so it's got like a ruler and stuff and I can't read backwards um and it's got like this one says thumb tip one teaspoon is like that of butter, margarine, oils, and yeah, so it's got different, different things, like that. Yeah, that's cool. And then what do these other ones say? So this one says, let's get chopping. Oh, and it tells you the different knives that you should use for different things, <laughs> stuff. And then this one is like different ways of cutting. So julienne, fine julienne, large dice, medium dice, small dice, and it felt like a ruler for your OCD chefs out there. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna have to organize my like drawer and whole kitchen. <laughs> oh, okay. So this I'm actually not going to open. Um, it's a really cool thing. It's like an all measure cup. So I don't know if you can see that because. Years ago, I actually, um, I have one of these already, so it's really cool. Let me grab mine, and then I can show you, because I don't want to open this, because then this one I can just sell. Oh, ouch. Mm. Okay, I've got a little stool, like, sitting in my kitchen. Okay, anyways, yeah, it's the same size. So... This is mine that I bought like several years ago from, I went to like a Pampered Chef like home party. Anyway, so it looks like this. So you put your liquid things in here and then you just, um, what am I doing? Mm. Yeah, so you put your liquid things and then you just put it to like whatever you need it for. So the blue is for the liquid part. And then it's got it's got cups, ounces, teaspoons, tablespoons, like that sort of thing. And then for dry ingredients, it's really cool. So you push this. I'll show. It. So you push the bottom in 
to wherever you how much dry ingredients you have and it's like really sealed so like they don't fall through or anything and it goes in the dishwasher like you can push the whole eh. you can totally take it apart it's tight but usually I take these apart sometimes if it gets like yucky or sticky or whatnot and I put both pieces in the dishwasher and then and then it goes goes right back together yes I will give you a catalog sky anyways that one's mine so I'm gonna leave this one closed so if anyone is interested in that I don't know prices or anything yet so don't ask me right now but um, send me a message and yeah and a great way so if if there's products you're interested in make up a wish list and then host a party for me so if you're in Calgary I could do home parties they make me a little nervous and like I don't drive so they're a little bit more difficult for me but um yeah so if you're in Calgary like I'm totally open to doing home party for you but uh, the easiest and best way is to do an online Facebook party I've got four ladies doing um, doing parties for me this week and I've got four booked for next week so right now I'm booking into the week of the 17th and they only run for five days and then if your if your party qualifies then you can earn like discounts and half price items um, just for hosting so yeah hey fur oh my god it's like never-ending little things in here. Okay. Like a bunch of little ones. So what's this? This is a food holder. Why don't they just call it a container? Food holder. <laughs> um. Because it literally holds your food, but for what purpose? I don't understand. A food holder. Okay, so this goes with the micro plane adjustable coarse and fine graters. Okay, so this goes with something else. So it's got the those stabby things again, and then you put your food in there and then you stab your food and then it goes along, ah! along with the microplane grater which I have somewhere here in my mess you should see my counter oh my god this is a garlic press garlic press now I can throw out my old one that's like 80 years old because this one is so nice and pretty and stuff. Open! Ice soup? What do you... What do you mean? I, I forgot what I said. What are you referring to, Katie? <laughs> so, very fancy garlic press. This style has not changed since the garlic press was invented. And it comes with this, this thingy. Pops right out. So you can, like, clean out your garlic press and stuff. And it's got spriggies that fit right into the, the thingy, you know. <laughs> I, yeah, well, I figured that out. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> okay, maybe I spoke too soon. And I love ice soup. Also known as water. <laughs> Okay. With a knife. If 
on a knife. It's a coated utility knife. Just what I need. I need a knife to get into it. There we go. So, knife, green, pepper chef. Whoops, wrong way. I like that it's green. I love green. Ooh, that's what I want. Uh, oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, I lost my... I lost my... Uh, no, come back. Oh, I'm dropping it. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. I lost my uh, my getting into box knife. Oh, here it is. My counter is like covered in cardboard and plastic and instruction manuals because every single thing that I've opened has come with an instruction manual. a lid and a cookbook. Okay. Okay, I don't know what that is. I will look at that in a second. So this is a lid, though. And this, so this is called Rock Croc. Rock Croc. And what's in here? And there's a whole bunch of recipes that come with it. Shrimp and chorizo, chorizo par paella. Oh, I can lose the shrimp, thanks. Mediterranean braised chicken. Glazed Asian pork ribs. Baked mac and cheese with shrimp. No, thank you. If you haven't caught on, I don't eat seafood. Unless it's like super battered, deep fried fish and chips, and that's about it. Bourbon soaked spoon cake. Mmm. Cake. And so they have pictures. And there's a recipe on the back. Cool. And what's these ones? Mushroom stuffed chicken breasts. Mmm. Citrus glazed salmon. No, thank you. Uh, barbecue oven baked chicken. Yum. Roasted cauliflower and brie risotto. Mm. Brisket shepherd's pie. Yummy! All those sound good. Except for the fish thingies. Not that. No fish thingies. Brock croc. Oh, hey. Yeah. So this is the rock croc. <coughs> Looks like that. This is the white large stone. So one cool thing, well, a lot of cool things, but um, Pampered Chef has this the this whole line of stoneware that you cook on. So this is the large white stone. 
and awesome for like making pizzas and that sort of thing. So it looks like that. It's a pretty great size. That'll make a nice pizza. They sent me, they look like totes. I'm going to open them and see what they are. A giant cookie. See, this is why we're best friends, Katie. A giant tote that I can carry all my things around in. Hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now we totally need to get together, Sky, and make that giant cookie. And I think this is just the same. So two giant totes. <sighs> well, that is it. Yes. Oh, I, there's one thing I didn't open. This is Chef Tongs. Chef Tongs. And also, like the garlic press, tongs really haven't changed their design in since they were invented. But it does have a cool thing on the end. You just flip it to open them. And they're rubbery. <sighs> Ooh, apple pie cookies. I like those ones that you put cream cheese in. Oh, so good. Anyways. So, I think... I think that's all for me. Um, this was a super long video. And thanks for everyone that watched. So, yeah. So, yeah. Now my kitchen's a mess and covered in cardboard and um, plastic and kitchen accessories. I don't know where to put. Yes. Anyways, so I'm going to go chill for the night. I had another early morning, early mornings all this week. So we'll see who that goes. But um, yeah, so any questions about any of this stuff, send me a message, whatever. Um, yeah, so everyone, peace out. Later.